Good afternoon. I think it's Friday. It's finally slowed down, which is kind of nice. But it's like cleaning up from a crazy party is what it feels like. Like the day after, everybody's <sighs> grumpy, on edge with each other, just like frustrated. So it's great. I got fries. <laughs> I also, one of the girls that left today left um, some chicken strips and fries, so I think I'll eat those maybe. <laughs> um, Cause I am kind of running out of food. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at, it'll be nice. I'll be by myself on my break because there's only three of us in the house right now and two of them are working, so yay. Alrighty, well it's like quarter to five and it's been pretty slow today. It's getting pretty smoky though, which is concerning because if you know, I'm allergic to anything smoke. So like that's not fun. We figure it's coming uh, down the inlets from the interior and to the coast. Yay! <laughs> I can't smell it yet though, so that's a good thing. Also, I opened this drawer up earlier um, and there was a mouse in here. Okay, no more mouse in here, but he's around somewhere. Somewhere through here. So tonight one of my coworkers is gonna set a bunch of bucket traps. But um, yeah, I opened up the drawer to put things out and then I was like, oh my god, mouse. Um, so that's fun. I have a mosquito bite on my leg that is also fun. My leg, I think, hello, are you gonna stay? I mean my foot. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna stay, it's not even using the tripod. And I'm just vibing here, pretty much is what we're doing. Um, there's, there's like puttering I can do, but there's not really any big projects I can delve into um, because we're gonna be getting our order in soon, but there's no way to know if it's gonna come in the next like five minutes or if it's gonna come in the next hour. And so I really hope it comes sooner rather than later because it's so frustrating when they show up with the order at basically six o'clock, especially on days when I stream. It's annoying on days when I don't stream, but on days when I stream it really sucks because then it cuts down on the time. I've canceled stream because they've showed up so late before. Hmm. So fingers crossed they show up sooner rather than later. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna vibe, putter, do some things, and very shortly here, and the store hours are gonna change to nine, which means I get to sleep in an entire hour in the morning, which is gonna be amazing. They just radioed for the gator, which means they are within landing on the dock distance, like probably five minutes, so that is exciting. I'm gonna stay up here while everybody loads, just in case customers come in. It's not quite slow enough to the point that I can just close all the doors and go down and help. Almost there, but not quite. Well, hello, hello. Happy whatever the heck day it is. It's Sunday. Um, oh my goodness, have things changed drastically over the last couple days. Um, as you know, the summer has been very difficult. And um, not yesterday, but the day before I got home from work and I just like, up the whole night. Not a good thing. Was not great. Was not good. I think part of it is that it's been so, so busy and so I've been just kind of getting through it with adrenaline and um, pushing through. Like it's gonna slow down, it's gonna slow down. That my body was like, it's slow. And so I went into the next morning with an anxiety attack from the start and just crying in between customers in the store. And then it just it's boiled over, complete and utter meltdown, like just sobbing in the storeroom. <laughs> it's not funny, <laughs> but I got to laugh about it. Um, and so my friend ended up working in the store for a lot of the day. I came home, I tried to sleep, I fed myself, and I was like texting with him a bit because he had to go do a charter. And he's like, well, if you can't come down, I can do it. And then our other boss can do the other time when he had to go on the charter. And I was like, no, I can totally go down. And like, I was like shaking and I learned that if you have like a really like long extended anxiety attack, you can go low blood sugar. And plus like, I haven't been eating great out here because I've just been so depressed. Um, <laughs> so um, yeah, it was not great. Um, so I ate, did my daily dadish yesterday and I was like, okay, I'm gonna go to, um, not to sleep. 
what's the word? What is the word? Oh, I'm gonna go down. And then I was like, mm, maybe I want some more food because I'm still feeling a bit shaky. And then I ate garlic bread and then I just started crying again. <laughs> so then I didn't end up working at all yesterday besides in the morning. And there was like a whole bunch of like other stuff going on. And so like my boss sent me an email apologizing for some stuff that wasn't even a factor. And so I talked to my one boss about it while I was in the storeroom. But I'm better with the typey type words, not the like face words. And so I responded to her saying like, no, this is not what this was about. And then kind of outlining what I'd said to him, but in a much more cohesive way. And I said, you know, um, I am struggling mentally in ways that I haven't for many years. And I, I, it's going to take me a while to recover from this. And I don't know that I can start that recovery period out here. I was like, you know, that being said, I don't need to leave immediately. But I think it's not feasible for me to stay through the first full week of September, which was the initial plan. I was like, so like, I'd love to like have a conversation about when it works for both. That's fair for both parties for when I leave. So, um, today's Sunday, I'm leaving Tuesday. <laughs> I said that I could probably hold through to Friday, but honestly, it has died down so much. I got back from my break at like 2.30 and I sat outside until five with like my bosses and like other family members and stuff. And we just chatted and caught up. And then finally at like 5.07, I went inside the store. And then I had to work. I was pretty busy for the last half hour. But like, it's just going to be a drag. And we don't need that. So <laughs> what we do need to do is, um, it was on the list from like last weekend, is start packing. <laughs> we are not ready for this. Um, I was like kind of thinking like Tuesday's too soon. So like Friday, but... I guess Tuesday it is, so I think step one is going to be feed myself, step two is going to be to record my puns and TikToks and edit a vlog, and then we go start with the packing thing. <laughs> it's just, it's just bad. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. Yep. Yep. I'm, yep. There's so much. And here's the situation. Here is the situation. And why I haven't started packing yet. You see these totes. Inside these totes is another tote. But also inside this whole kind of tower is all my vacuum seal bags for my clothes and anything soft. <laughs> so I think, I was kind of looking at last night. I think if I shuffle all this stuff over and move this around... I think I can get my monitor on the side of the desk and then I can start packing up other stuff. And like, I'm not gonna stream tomorrow <laughs> because I'm gonna have to like, probably gonna have to bring my stuff down to the dock tomorrow night because I can't drive the golf cart down. And um, my friend said he'll drive it for me so it'll just depend on like charters and stuff. So yeah, so food, I need to make a list. Food, puns, vlog, pack, move computer pack. Something like that. I, I feel like I have so much stuff. I feel like I have more stuff when I came here. It's because you ordered stuff on the internet. Um, but yeah, anyways, it'll be nice to have a bit of a break at home before, did I mention this? Before I go down to visit Wesley. Because <laughs> uh, I thought I was going to come up here on the 8th and go on the 11th. So that'll be nice to have some downtime. I can even maybe get my ring fixed that I bent. Oops. <laughs> while I was out here. <sighs> just it's just it's I don't know like now is not the time to reflect on the summer because if I do I will get so weepy but this was not the summer I expected I really it's my last summer it's my last season I didn't know that for sure going in but now with one the speed at which they're increasing processing k1 visas and two just how the summer went it, it, it became very apparent that it was going to be my last summer and um it's kind of sad. I, I, you know, it's kind of really sad. So we're not going to reflect on that right now because we got stuff to do and we can't be sad about it. We could be sad later. We go back to town and there's smoke everywhere. <laughs> Smoke's getting pretty bad out here, but I heard everywhere else it's even worse. So, all right. Hello. It has been several hours. All I've managed to do is eat. Still a mess. Still a mess. Still has my computer on top of it. I'm okay. I mean, I did move my monitors over a little bit so I can get my computer on here, but I still need to move this. It's just, it's a mess. I think 
I gotta get my editing done. I guess technically I don't have to edit a vlog today. I could do it tomorrow, so maybe we'll do that. Puns have to be done today. And then move the tower, unplug the switch because we don't need that plugged in. Um, ideally, by the end of the tonight, I have my clothes folded, maybe even in the bags, and my monitor, or my tower over here. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. My microphone is really close to me now. I got the puns up, but oh my god, I have like lost my mental capabilities. Like, I just got real dumb. And like, it makes sense, the burnout and, and, but oh my god, I'm dumb. <laughs> it took me so long to do something. I'm struggling to focus. <sighs> yeah, so that's where we're at. But the puns and TikToks are done. And now we're about to move this. So I think what I'm going to do is unplug anything I don't need to be plugged into it, which I think is just my switch. Um, and then we'll scooch it. Wish me luck. Cognitive abilities, that was the word I was going for. I've lost all my cognitive abilities. <sighs> There's so much to do and I just have no want to do it. Got my computer moved, got stuff off the wall, so we're making progress. I think I'm going to sit on the floor, maybe put on a show and fold my clothes. Because even if they're in a pile on the floor, it's better if they're folded. Yeah. Also, like, I'm getting tired and... My bed is just covered. This is very inconvenient as I can't use my mouse because of one, there's no space, and two, there's a microphone here. So we're gonna edit Daily Dadish and, and it's gonna not be pretty, but that's okay. It's just after midnight, so I folded all the clothes that were there, they're in a pile, and we're a little bit more organized. Um, and the TikToks are all scheduled. I can't remember if I mentioned that. I feel like I did. My brain is fried. Oh, we should zoom, zoom under that. Okay, but hip it up it And um, yeah, I'm gonna just do my daily dadish edits and then I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> it's real bad, guys, it's real bad. Also, I'm not nearly where I want to be today. So I'm thinking tomorrow my lunch break, hopefully I can pack some clothes and also pack my bathroom toiletry stuff. Bathroom toiletry stuff. All right, I gotta edit. Cause I can't do two things at once. All right, well this is the current state of the room. Um, it's not great. It was terrible trying to work around this, as I mentioned. I would say this is like 60% empty, would be my guess. Like, you can't even open things, you know. Oh shoot, maybe, maybe 50% empty, I don't know. Anyways, with that, I'm gonna go sleep. We're gonna continue this chaotic packing vlog tomorrow. I'm super overwhelmed, I'm super stressed, but I'm also really tired and exhausted and I have no will to do anything, so it's not a good combo, but we're gonna do what we can. And it ain't gonna be pretty, but it is gonna be packed, hopefully. See you tomorrow. Good morning, it's my last day potentially my last day ever because I don't know if I'm gonna come up here in the new year wild alrighty off for my last lunch break I got garbage bags I've got these bags <laughs> which didn't fit in my store tote but I did get everything packed up I think I mentioned it I'm gonna feed myself and then do some packing I think and then go back down just finish closing up my stuff. <laughs> it's kind of sad. <sighs> Let's 
It's kind of like really sad. <laughs> and I'm also just kind of sad. <laughs> Anyways, don't know what I'm gonna eat. Probably chicken and pasta or something. I don't know. Alrighty, so just a reminder. I know you just saw it like last, like a couple clips ago. This is what we're working with for the room. 50 to 60% full. <laughs> full. Probably full. And then out here, I have like a little bit of frozen meat in this bag. Okay, a lot. <laughs> I'm probably gonna give most of it to my friend. Um, Fridge-wise, I just have the stuff on this row here, so that's fine. And then in here, like I kind of sorted it over there, everything's going in the garbage. And then some of these condiments are empty. I just haven't emptied them, that's fine. And then we just have the stuff in, oh, these two pairs of shoes I'm throwing out. Um, and then I've got my makeup. I have stuff there and stuff up there. And then, hello, a little bit of stuff in here. So I think while I'm in the kitchen and cooking, I'm gonna get rid of a bunch of my garbage and whatnot, and um, then hopefully I have a little bit of time to maybe pack some clothes on the latter half of my break because I'm a little stressed about, like, it's gonna take me probably an hour to take down my computer alone, and um, then prob it's probably at least three hours of packing and then probably some cleaning, so yeah, that's, that's a lot. Oh, there's the back of me, Whoa. Uh, better or worse? And honestly, no real way to tell. I do have clothes going into these bags. Once I vacuum them down, they can go into a tote. And also I found this tote inside of those totes. So now I think I'm pretty okay for space. Um, it's just gonna be a lot because I've got another one of these totes. <laughs> so we got like two of these totes, two of these totes, a backpack. And um, that cooler over there. And potentially the blue cooler. I don't think I'll need it. I thought I might, but I think I'll be okay. So. We're just gonna keep, uh, the plan is to get all the clothes in and I guess vacuumed and then into these and then eat. Cause I'm getting kind of hungry. And then we'll go for stage two, which is taking down the computer, which is, it's gonna take time, but it should be pretty quick. Monitors first and then go from there. I have to, ooh, screwdriver. It's a great question. Where's the screwdriver? Current situation. We got all the clothes and shoes in there. I'm a little, I don't know how it's gonna go. Um, oh, there's still a pair of shoes in there. Anyways, I'm just trying to see how lazy I can pack. Like, can I just throw things in and everything will fit? I guess we should probably get stuff down <laughs> to check. Oh, oh, that's lovely. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. I don't need to bring that back because that's going to go to my friend. Hmm. Oh, there's my screwdriver, which I knew. Do I have enough of these? I definitely do. Okay, we're just gonna, we're just gonna wing it. We won't know until we start putting that stuff away. And I think we can start taking it down. I just started preheating the oven because I've got enough packed that I'm like, okay, I can take a break to eat. And um, yeah, I think I can start trying to get the monitors in here, perhaps. I kind of, I kind of want to bring these, but I also kind of don't know if I'll have room, so we shall see. It's easier to pack up to leave because just, do you see a cord? Put it in. Do you see a cord? Put it in. I'm, you know what, honestly, I have no idea right now. Because <laughs> the monitors take up like, uh, the majority, like they go diagonal here. I don't know. There's not much, like everything is out and visible that we need to pack. I don't know. It's really too soon to tell. Also, I had french fries and I didn't realize I had french fries, so I'm very excited about that. Um, we have three minutes, about 10 minutes till I can eat. Um, and I think we're doing pretty okay. I still have my backpack to fill and I think it's, I, I think it might be okay. I'm gonna take a pause to eat and then the next step is gonna be 
monitors and I'm so sad because I can't sleep with my pillow tonight because that's what I put between the monitors to make sure they don't die and I can't sleep with my blanket tonight because that's what I put around the monitors to make sure they don't die. Um, but yeah, I still like right on the cusp there, but it's just, been, I've been lazy packing. My goal is to get everything but my backpack packed tonight. And the backpack will just be where kind of everything goes. So we'll see. And this is what we're looking like now. The bulk of my stuff is down in the fuel shed. I just have, wow, massive bags under my eyes. I just have a backpack, a cooler, and a bag to bring down in the morning. And we are T minus like eight hours till departure. Cause just after midnight, we're leaving at eight. And I'm gonna go sleep now. And next time you see me, I will be back out in the real world. Hopefully with a little bit more rest and like some recovery. Yeah. Good night.